Howdy arty aliens and welcome to Drawing Stuff with Paul Yeatman. New here? Hi there! Now smash subscribe. Return for more? Nice to see you back. Today I will show you how I designed and drew a spaceship using a shampoo bottle and a deodorant can as the base for the design using Photoshop as my canvas. To start with I assembled my design elements on separate layers into an idea of what I wanted the ship to look like. Along with the bathroom items which form the body and engine pods of the spacecraft, I added the insignia from a boat I photographed and also a plane for the command module. I then created sketch layers. The upper layer consists of the two closest engine pods, the middle layer comprises the hull. The lowest layer comprises the farthest engine pods and is only going to be used to show where the engines go as I'll duplicate the other engine layer later. Once I've created and completed the sketch layers, I create layers under these for colouring. And when doing this, you need to be careful to only colour the colour layers. If I don't pay attention here, I wind up with colours on a whole bunch of layers and I waste time merging or undoing what I've done. Detail of the deodorant cans and indent on the base of the shampoo bottle, which now forms the front of the ship, have some nice little elements which will inform my design. And for the colouring, I am using the eyedropper tool periodically on the photo of the naval vessel which I got the ship's insignia registry from. I am using a standard brush to block in the colours. There are faster ways to colour, but today's tutorial is not about the fastest workflow. It's more about the design thinking process. Once the upper engine is coloured, I copy the layers, which there are a couple, and reposition them to match the lower engine pod. And I alter the shading a little as there are some elements that after being reflected and repositioned result in iffy lighting. What I do is partially correct the lighting here but as this is a quick and nasty drawing it's not meant to be an accurate representation of the light source. The indent on the shampoo bottle forms a nice little radar dish or perhaps it is a deflector dish like what Star Trek ships tend to have. The design here certainly could be Starfleet if I rotated the hull 90 degrees and put the engine pods on stalks and added a saucer. As I continue with the colouring, I add some random lines and blocks of colour to give the ship a worn look. This is also helped by not fully colouring in sections of the ship. As the engine pods in the back are foreshortened, I shrink them a little once I position them. The engines are also under the hull layer, so the hull hides them. The advantages of using layers and not merging them means I could take elements from this drawing and use them in a future one. Perhaps I'll create the Star Trek ship out of them at some stage. Here you see the original idea of a black rectangle of space to highlight the vessel. This can be a good way to save ink when using physical media. As this work is digital, I create a full background. Before adding the background however, I add some bright green and orange check to make the vessel Chris Fossey as February is my Chris Foss challenge month. Here I was thinking to maybe make the forward facing engine pod covers bright red but in the end, I'll leave them the dried blood colour that they are. I played around with some background concepts before settling on the background which consists of two layers with some gradients and various opacity. The idea here was to have the spacecraft in front of a nebula. To add some extra interest I quickly whacked down a planet and blur the details of this planet to give it a gas giant sort of design. The place in the stars is done fairly randomly and then I duplicate that layer and blur the lower one a little bit. So what do you think of the final design? I think it's okay for a first attempt. Uh, if you want to have a go at this yourself, let me know how you go. Anywho, if you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, etc, subscribe, like and share with whoever you want, preferably the more the merrier. Until next time, you have been watching Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yeatman. Ciao and take care.